Hi there, Henry Smith here from mindworthandrich.com. I talk about how to understand the game of money and play it well. Thanks for joining me for today's cryptocurrency portfolio update. Make sure you stay to the end of this video because I always talk about something after the update. Before I continue um, the update of the cryptocurrency portfolio in question, I've got to do the financial disclaimer. So I'm not a financial planner or financial advisor. I'm not an accountant or CPA. Make sure you do your own due diligence before you make any financial decisions. And also understand that all investing can be risky, so do not invest any more money than you can afford to lose. So with that, I'm going to share my screen and go to the spreadsheet, do the update today. It's 13th of December. And um, get the figures on this page here. So um, we've got... Um, this portfolio consists of one Bitcoin, a selection of specially selected altcoins, and um, the totals column. This is US dollars, this is in British pounds, or pound sterling, and this is the percentage split. It was 25.75, but the altcoins have kind of moved a little bit. The coin has gone backwards a bit, it seems like this, but this is dynamic, not static. Coming from a live feed into an asset group, I'm trying to this here. So um, let's get this figure here. I've done 74,094. I've done 74,094. And minus 3,000. And then what do we have here? 221,841. 221,841. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, Roughly the same as what it was the last time, give or take $230. The portfolio is down 3166 That's what it is at the moment. So that's great. That's fine. I have to wait for things. Just taking a look at the markets. The market cap is down, down a little bit, um, 2.1 trillion, down yesterday from 2.2 trillion. And um, so obviously we had a big dip and we have another dip here. And, um, but we, we seem to be having lower highs, so I don't know. Lower lows, rather. One, two, three. And then this will come down to here. We shall see. Really the main cause of this, from a technical standpoint, is this Garcian channel. So Garcian channel is, you know, every time Bitcoin has fallen, this is on the five-day chart, has fallen from an upward trend down into the Garcian channel. As if you stayed there, been drawn into it, and even it came up here and it fell back in. It came up here and now it looks like it's fallen back in. So it looks like it may get drawn down to this medium line here, which could be as low as 43,000. Could be if it goes down to touch this line. Mind you, um, this line is actually rising, but it could come down to, uh, further, you know, um, what are we now? Further 8% where it is now. It could, it may not, but um, so far it's, um, three can, you know, downward candles in a row into the passing channel. And like I said, whenever it's gone into the channel, it's usually gone to this medium line. This also shows that over the years, whenever it's gone into the channel, it's usually stayed there for about a year, roughly. Although the time it's staying there is shortening now, but it could be, you know, six months to a year of being, uh, shall I say, interacting with the Garcian channel on a close basis. So it really came into the channel 
here in May, May 21st, so May 21st, May 16th. I just want to actually have that pulled it down into it. And it managed to es escape almost, tried to escape here, got pulled down again, it escaped again here. And I said, you know, once it gets above the green line, the body closes above the green line, then we could officially have escaped, but it didn't quite do it. It just stuck a wick up, a couple of wicks, a few wicks above this green line. So it didn't quite make it, it was rejected, and it came tumbling down through the red into this orange, which this orange line represented the entry to the tunnel box. So it's obviously the bar has been right, raised. So it may hit this, this level here, as it has done before, before it bounces back up. Whether it will hold this as support, we shall see. Um, with the uh, Death Cross and the Golden Cross, there's a potential for a Death Cross in uh, January. The 16th, the way things are going, may not be the 16th example, but this, this date moves, it's dynamic, not static. But as I, I drew this channel right here, we seem to be going down this corridor, but maybe even it, it may have broken the train. So it fell down and hit this 50, uh, 50 day moving average, the green line, it went, hit that, and then that's fallen down and it's hit the red line which is quite serious, the 200-day moving average. If it goes below that, you know, we're not really in a bull period, shall we say. It's not that the bull market is over, but it's, things are bearish. As we're bouncing on it right now, things are, things are very close to bearish, very bearish. And if we keep on this trajectory, this, 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 no, these two lines at the moment, on the 13th of, of, of December, shows where they are but if it continues it could they could come together around the 16th which means bitcoin will take them another dip if we get what is known as a death trust mind you like i said this keeps it moving so um <laughs> we were in an uptrend and this trend seems to have been broken here but um we have to keep watching Okay, um, on a, on a, on a um, zooming out on, on the stochastic RSA I weekly, we've got downward momentum for the, for the, for the, you know, let's see, for the, um, I would say, few days. The momentum is down. These, these orange line and this blue are going to come down before they go up. Unless there's a dramatic turnaround, but they, they seem to be pointing downwards. Um, so is the um, the RSI, which shows that um, you know lower peaks, lower highs at the moment. Although there was an upward, there wasn't. You know these two can represent uh, two higher highs. And we needed a third one for it to break, but that this would have to come back up past this this um, seventy one point six level before we see that. At the moment, this is done. It's got a lot of work to do. This this line here will have to reverse and, and come all the way up before we can see uh, that upward momentum. And it may, you know, it may go further before it decides to turn back up. It will definitely turn around and go back up, but it may, you know, shed uh, some more before it goes down, uh, before it goes down. And likewise, the financial flow, money flowing out of the system. Money was flowing out and then it did a bit of a U-turn, but we shall see. It doesn't look like, it looks like money's still flowing out, but it looks like it, you know, did a little bit of a U-turn here. So we just have to observe the, these things. Uh, Market is still, you know, above two trillion, which is still very powerful. But you know, the bad, the bad, bad news is that we're inside the Garcia channel, and that is that could mean more downward price action for Bitcoin. We'll wait and see. Anyway, make sure you, um, you know, a lot of people are calling for this bull run 
to be ended in December. And uh, made a video a very long time ago saying that it's not really possible. It's going to be more going to 2022, um, Q2 or Q3, because you know these bull runs are these cycles are extended now. So in the meantime, it has to kind of digress and, and go, you know, go around the houses before it, it, it hits its true value. So come down and eventually it will, it will eventually come up, but not, I don't think really, um, well, no one knows for sure. It doesn't look like it this year. This is, you know, happening against it, but you never know. This particular candle closes in three days and seven hours. So we shall watch and see whether, whether it's closes below this line and where the, where the new candle starts yeah, in three days and seven hours time. Will that new candle start below this one, below this line or above the line? That will tell us a lot about the, uh, the, the next, uh, shall we say, one week of momentum. We've got like eight days, eight days and seven hours. So yeah, that will tell us a lot about how the next eight days will unfold which we'll know in three days time, three days and seven hours. But anyway, make sure you hit the like, share and subscribe if you like this kind of content. All in all, understand Bitcoin is a long-term strategy. So that should do with short-term trading. The long-term strategy in the, you know, is a bargain price to buy it at 47, that has been as low as 46, 46,670. So, these are just bargain prices to buy more and uh, hold. Dollar cost average in, as we say. Um, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button. And you can visit our website down below, uh, the link below this video. And uh, check out, uh, there's a little form on the right hand side. It's free information that's available for you. I look forward to hearing from you soon. And um, I look forward to speak to you on the next video, I should say. Have a great and wonderful day. Bye.